Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to give you a quick overview of Einstein Copilot. Now, what is this Einstein Copilot? It is basically an AI assistant that understands natural language and can do a lot of tasks for you. So it's like a chat bot which understands the human interaction and will be able to respond to your queries on the fly. Okay, so in order for us to access Einstein Copilot, we need to first enable it in the org. So I'll go over to quick find and go over to the agents. And uh, under this agent studio, you're going to see agents here. So click on that agents and uh, we will enable it right now. You can see here Einstein Copilot for Salesforce is disabled and uh, now we are going to enable it. Now, what is this Einstein Copilot? Basically, it help your employees accomplish key business tasks with a conversational AI assistant for Salesforce CRM. So that is what a co Einstein Copilot is. It is basically an AI assistant which understands natural language and will be able to perform tasks for you. Now, once you enable it, what you see here is you under it, you get an agent called Einstein Copilot. That is the name of the agent that we have. And some of the orgs, if you have the right proper permissions and licenses, you should be able to create new agent as well. Right now, we don't have the ability to create a new agent in the org that we're using, but you don't worry. We are going to do everything and learn everything about Einstein Copilot using this agent that we currently have. So once you click on this Einstein Copilot, you see the details. So this particular screen gives you information about the Einstein Copilot agent and what actions this agent can perform. So these are the different actions that are assigned to your agent and these are all standard action. Now, as the name indicates, you'll be able to fetch record details. So get record details. For example, if you want to fetch any details about a particular record, this action will do that for you. This is a standard action. If you want to fetch timelines, activities timeline associated with any record, this this get activities timeline will be able to help identify record by the name. Let's say a user has only entered if, if the user doesn't have the customer doesn't have the ID of the records, it just have some reference or a number. Let's say in the case of case, you don't have the case ID, but you have case number. So then it will go ahead and identify the record by the name, fetch that record for you. So that is what identify record by name does. It searches for the Salesforce CRM records by name and returns a list of matching CRM record ID. So it will only search based on the name and it will fetch you all the IDs of those records. That is what identify, identify record by name action does. Query records with aggregate. So if you want to perform any aggregation, let's say you want to calculate how many records are there or some total maximum, min or average, then you have this action called as query records with aggregate. If you want to summarize any record rather than glancing through all the data that is available on this record, if you just want a summary of the record, then this action will summarize a single Salesforce CRM record. You must call this summarize record only if user explicitly ask for a summary. So if, if a particular user is asking for a summary of a record, that is when this summarize record action will be called. Then you have draft a revised email. If you want to create an email or draft an email, then this action will be used. So agent is going to use these actions to do the task that it needs to. Okay identify object by the name, finds the Salesforce object API name by extracting an object name from the user input. So let's say user just gave particular number. Now based on that number, it will fetch which object it belongs to, which particular record it is, so all of that. Query records, finds and retrieves Salesforce CRM record based on user input and specific conditions such as field values, get activity details, provides data about an activity record, call, email. So these are some standard actions that are tied to this particular agent of ours. You can create custom action as well, and we will see how to create custom actions. So let's say you create an agent who deals with everything related to cases. If somebody comes to get a 
status on the case if somebody wants to know what is the case status somebody wants to uh, escalate the case so everything related to the case you can this agent handles so similarly you, that agent also handles queries related to sales if or billing so you can create multiple topics so if i go under a particular uh, if you go over here and you go to open in builder there is a thing called as topic what is a topic topic is nothing but categorizing your different skills so you can see here there is a general crm topic and then there is a single record summary under this particular topic general crm you have associated action this topic actions each of the action belongs to a particular topic so all these actions are under this particular topic called general crm similarly when you click on this topic topic is basically a category you can think of okay and uh, under this particular topic these are the standard actions that are associated it and using these actions your agent will be able to provide you answers so now going back here then there is another tab once we go through the uh, agent information so this is the agent information then we went through the different actions it has one more time i'm going to go to einstein copilot and then we have went over to details then you have his actions these are the standard actions that your agent can do it can fetch any record information it can summarize any record it can do the fetch the timelines activity timelines it can draft an email for you all of that it can do now there is no option to update a record if let's say if i ask the agent to escalate the case or update the case there is no action to do that so in those cases when those standard actions are not uh, sufficient you can create custom actions as well and we will see how to create them then system messages so for the very first time when your agent launches let's say this is like a chatbot right and this chatbot will be added to a particular uh, experience cloud site or wherever you want to install this chatbot right so the first message that your chatbot is going to say is where you is this is where you configure that message tell your agent how to greet end users a welcome message is sent at the beginning of each conversation so this is where you configure your welcome message so for the very first time when the agent is going to answer it's going to start with this welcome message then tell your agent what to say if a system error occurs if there is a system error occurs in trying to do something then this is the message it is going to show over here then you have is language settings in what language your agent is going to talk agent is basically your ai assistant the language that we're using here is english you can see here the language your agent uses in conversations agent currently supports english only so right now english is the only language and then what is the level of tone the how it is is it going to be casual neutral what is the tone and you can change the tone of your um, agent as well okay so these are the four different tabs here actions is basically the standard list of actions your agent can do if you want to configure welcome messages and error messages you come over to system messages and you enable that and then you have language settings is which language your agent communicates in okay and then we are going to say open in builder this is where you configure your agent and uh, over here you can see these are the two topics topic is basically a category of things or skills your agent is good at so let's say your agent is good at in billing questions so you created a topic related to billing your agent is good in selling stuff so you created another topic called sales so under that topic you will have actions each of the action is associated with a particular topic so when you and you can create new topics through here so you can create a new topic here you can specify what your agent expertise is you create a category for that so topic is like a category okay and then each of the topic is going to have associated actions so this particular topic has these many actions you can create a new topic you can actually remove this from the agent if you want to get rid of a particular topic you can remove it if you want to get details about the topic this is how the what does this topic do topic label is general crm what is the classification description engages and interacts with the user about any request that could be crm data related so you kind of gave a definition of this topic what particular kind of questions this agent is going to ask or what kind of questions fall into this topic this could be tasks such as identify and summarize records answer queries aggregate data so each of these things 
then what is the scope so you provide the scope here um, your job is to interact and answer questions for your user about anything salesforce or crm data related combining all data retrieval functions like query record so basically this is the scope of your topic and then what instructions you want to give if you want to tell your agent to be polite you want to tell your agent that don't be using any harmful language or inappropriate words to respond keep your content short or your response short uh, so it, it kind of you gave instructions bunch of instructions to your agent is how to respond now this is a conversation preview okay so let's say you say hi over here now first thing your agent is going to respond is with a welcome message okay you can see here hey i am einstein and ai assistant and this welcome message is configurable we just saw it how to configure this message now it is asking hello how can i assist you now in this window it gives you how is it able to fetch the answer for you so it understood just now the customer said hi so this is just a small talk used when the user is engaged in a casual or small talk and then your agent responded now let's say if i asked can i get status on my order okay that is what your customer is saying now the next question your particular chat agent is going to say your ai agent is going to see is which topic does this belong to does this question belongs to so out of these two topics it was able to figure out that this is a general crm related so it went over to this particular topic and under this topic which action right now it is just asking you for a status so the basically this is the topic it has selected so the first thing that the ai assistant will do is which category that question belongs to under that category what actions are there then from that actions which list of actions do i need to execute in order to come to a response your ai assistant or your einstein copilot can refer multiple actions so now this is the response it came up with could you please provide me with the order number or any other details related to your order this will help me locate the information you need so now what we're going to do is let's say we will give a particular order number here let's say like this this is not an order number that exists in your org and here it is going to say could you please provide me more details or clarify your request are you referring to an order number or something else so again it selected which topic it is so let's say we figure out a particular order so i'm going to go over here and let's say if you have any order in your uh, in your org so we'll go over here and if you don't have we will create a new order but in order to create a new order you also need to create a contract first so right now there are no orders here so we will first create contract and then we will create an order so contracts here we'll click a new contract uh, account name Kristen strong uh, again this one customer sign date 23rd uh, billing address you can put whatever you want here contract start date is let's say 24 contract term 12 months hit save so this is your contract that you have created now we will create an order associated with this contract so i'm going to go ahead and click on new order here and then let's say we did christian strong again uh, start date is this contract number it is this and then hit save and now can't be earlier so i'm going to go ahead and choose this date hit save so your order has been created now let's say i want to find information about this order so what i'll do is i'll go back to my agent here here and i'm going to provide this is the order number okay now what it is going to do is there is an action called get records right there is one of these the standard actions identify record by the name so first important thing is first it figured out which topic it belongs to again so it it went under general crm then the action that it called is identify records by name that is the first action it called so based on this record name it was able to figure out that this belonged to a particular contract and also related to an order number okay 00100 so it belongs to these things then based on that it was able to missing information user input required then it figured out i found multiple records so it says there are contract record and this is order number so it is asking there are two different information two pieces of information i found with the same number now which one it is we are going to choose this one and hit the submit customer is going to choose that then it is going to again decide okay this is the order number they're talking about then it is going to call identify records by name 
then agent response now it is doing get record details so the second action is being invoked here where it is trying to fetch the information about the particular order then i'm i'm telling him can you summarize this record for me so then what will happen is it will identify the topic it will identify the action it will execute the action there is an action called summarize record and that is the action that will be executed in this case so now it is summarizing the record for you now if you see here this action is being called summarize record and then it is using this single record summary topic now it has switched to a different topic and then under that topic this summarize record is available and based on that it provided you a response so agent uses actions to figure out the responses to your questions so it is if you remember in the uh, in the ai associate course we talked about einstein bot wherever what was happening in the case of einstein bot is you were giving some static questions for the customer to choose and based on that your response was coming right but those were statically configured before here you didn't had anything configured before it is answering you on the fly it is asking understanding what your request is about what are you talking about and then based on that it is giving you a response using actions so what is topic topic is nothing but it is a category under that particular category you will have multiple actions associated with it okay that is what topic means and there are list of standard actions that you can do but you have also have the flexibility of creating new actions and we will see how to create those new actions and then if you want to configure any welcome messages or anything like that you can configure it through the system messages we already saw and then what happens is all the information so all the uh, so if you see here if you go over to the uh, language there is a different types of uh, right now it only supports english but tone can be either casual neutral or formal so if you want your agent to respond in a very formal manner you will choose the tone as formal if you want your agent to respond in a very neutral way then you're going to select the second option here right now we are keeping it casual then all your all your sessions means the way you are interacting with all the sessions if you want to you want to search for it what happens then you are going to see those sessions under here then another important thing is right now if you go you only sees you don't see a particular what your message was what did you ask the user all of that okay what was the input message what was the response you're not seeing any of that in order to get that what you have is there is a checkbox that you need to enable and we will see what that checkbox is in a minute so if i go over to this einstein copilot under the first screen itself enrich the event log event logs capture all of the events in an agent conversation to help you test and troubleshoot your agent so in case there is a problem occurred or your agent is not responding appropriately if you want to troubleshoot it you can check your event logs but right now event log does not contain much information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check this check box here so right now i'm not seeing it so i'm going to reduce the size i'm going to check this check box and hit save once i do that open in the builder then i'll be able to have much more information about my sessions so if i go over to the events now now if i go and look for it you can see here this is your input message right now it's not giving you the answer you can see your small talk give it few minutes but it is going to give you a proper question and answer what your agent responded all of those information it will enrich your event log with the conversation that you had with your agent So this is the purpose and if you want to debug anything event log is a place you can debug it. So that is what you have just a quick overview of Einstein Copilot. Now we are going to go into much more details. We're going to cover some theory and then we will configure our own agent. Okay? We are going to we don't have the option to create a new agent in this org but in usually if you have all the permissions you will have the option to create new agent but we will play around with this particular agent and uh, we are going to see what this agent can do so all of that we're going to discuss in the next tutorial i just wanted to give you a quick overview of this einstein copilot ui i hope you're enjoying this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next tutorial thank you